Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're talking about a weird command that was brought up in my chat, cd minus minus. Um, so if you you know, cd minus goes to the previous directory that you were in, uh, but cd minus minus does kind of a weird thing. So we're gonna we're gonna show uh, what that does and explain why it does that. Let's uh, jump into it. Okay, so just to recap the cd minus behavior, so you can see we were in this directory. This was the previous directory we were in. So cd minus just goes to the previous directory. But if we do cd minus minus, what it does is it goes directly to the home directory, uh, which in my case is home acetylene. And of course, if we cd minus, we can go back to where we were before. But cd minus minus is going to go to the home directory. And the reason for that is, is this actually isn't interpreted as an argument at all. This is an argument separator. Uh, and the reason that it's needed here is if you make a directory, let's say we make a directory called dash foo, and note that I use dot slash dash foo, because uh, if I just do this, you'll see that you get invalid option f, because this gets interpreted as make dir dash f dash o dash o, which is nonsense. Um, but what you can do is you can do a dash dash, and then everything after this will be interpreted just literally instead of being treated as options. So that will work. I could have also done dot slash um, like this so that it, it the, the key part is that it doesn't start with the dash so it doesn't try and treat it as a option there. Uh, but the same thing applies to CD. So if I try to do CD dash foo here, you'll see that CD errors out. It's like, what are you doing? There's no dash F option here. Um, and so what you can do is cd dash 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 foo, and then it will treat this not as options, but as the directory name. So you can you know, cd into there. Um, but this part is optional. So if you leave out the actual directory name that's being changed to, this is just saying treat everything after it as not an option. And if there's nothing after it, there's just no option. And cd with no arguments takes you to the home directory. So that's, that's why it does that little thing. Um, a little extra... <laughs> A little extra, very mean tidbit. Maybe I shouldn't show this. <laughs> I've shown this on stream before, though. Um, a kind of mean prank that you can do is you can make a file called dot slash tilde dash rf. And so if you run like its status, for instance, you'll see that there's this weird untracked tilde dash rf. Now, be very careful here, because you might imagine, oh yeah, I can just delete it by running this command here. But no, this will delete your entire home directory. So you have to be very careful to quote this and make sure we're referencing it in the working directory, otherwise <laughs> otherwise your home directory goes away. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's that's a little bit unrelated. So anyway, cd minus minus goes to your home directory. That's why it does that, because this is the special argument separator to not treat everything after it as arguments. Anyway, hopefully you found this interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.